Today in Montpelier, we heard from Governor Phil Scott for the first time since the state's historic veto session. The governor commented on a range of topics at his weekly news conference, including the deal to extend the Hotel Motel program, which is set to end this Saturday. NBC5 Stephen Biddix is live in the newsroom with a new plan to give some people an extension. Stephen? Yes, Alice and Brian. So as of right now, there are still roughly 1,200 households a part of the program. And those that are considered the most vulnerable or have children will now be able to receive a 28 or 84 day extension based on their qualifications. Now residents eligible for extensions include those that have experienced domestic violence, suffered from a natural disaster, households with children under 18 years of age, and those that are pregnant, just to name a few. Residents will now have to pay 30% of their gross income to stay in their rooms and work hand in hand with the Agency of Human Services to find a permanent solution. Under the deal, if residents receive an offer for permanent housing, they will have 48 hours to respond. And if they don't accept, they will be removed from the program. The administration says the lack of permanent housing is also playing a role in the situation. It almost brought the state to the brink of disaster. Importantly, it gives us more tools, including investments we'd asked for during the session for permanent housing and requirements that those in the program work with us to find a solution. And we need units to come on plain and simple. The lack of these units is making this matter more difficult for us to resolve. Even when a household needs services paired with units, the units don't simply exist. The deal also moves up zoning changes that allows duplexes to be built anywhere a single family home can and rules that allow for more density in areas that have water and sewer infrastructure set up to July 1st compared to their original date of December of 2024. And now the state says Barrie, Rutland and Burlington have the most households remaining and the state will now be delivering weekly status updates on numbers going forward. Live in the newsroom, Stephen Biddix, NBC5 News.